If you're a diabetic, you need to be seeing your doctor regularly for a number of reasons, to make sure your blood sugar is in control, to make sure your cholesterol is good, your blood pressure, etc., but also to make sure your kidney numbers are good. Why? Because diabetic kidney disease is a very real thing. We are talking about that today. I'm going to tell you the who, what, when, where, and why. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. Let's start. Now, look, you guys have probably heard of connections between diabetes and the kidney. And you might have heard of people, family, friends, you name it, who have diabetes who ended up having kidney disease. This is the thing. Diabetes is the leading cause of kidney disease. And one in three diabetics will end up with kidney disease. It's a big deal. It's one of the things we need to do when we see you in the office. And it's another reason why you need to see us in the office. Now you're probably wondering, well, wouldn't I know if I had diabetic kidney disease? I mean, wouldn't I feel something? And the truth of the matter is not necessarily. In fact, most people with diabetic kidney disease probably have no idea unless they've had their blood work done uh, because you're not likely to have symptoms. And remember, uh, diabetic kidney disease is something that typically happens over many years. Now remember what the kidney does. I've done many videos on the kidneys, so make sure you check those out. The kidneys are a super big deal in our bodies, right? They help uh, filter out waste and regulate fluid. They help make hormones. They also help control our blood pressure among so many other things. Uh, if our kidneys are not working right, it can really cause major problems and some people can lead to dialysis. Now, let me give you some good news before you get scared. Most people with diabetic kidney disease will not end up with renal failure needing dialysis. That is most people. To ensure that you don't end up on dialysis or having major kidney problems, especially if you're a diabetic, you've got to see your doctor regularly so we can check your blood work to check your numbers and to check your urine. Now, you might be wondering, what, what's the connection between diabetes, my diabetes, and my kidney? Why are they even related in the first place? Well, as you all know, with diabetes, high blood sugar is the problem. And when we have too much blood sugar, sugar in our blood, too much of it, it can wreak havoc on many different parts of our body. One of the things that too much sugar does is it gets into our blood vessels and it can damage the blood vessels. It can also damage the blood vessels of the kidney, uh, preventing the kidney from working like it should. Diabetics can also develop high blood pressure, which in and of itself can also damage the kidney. Um, many of these things are interrelated. Please keep that in mind. People who are most likely to have diabetic kidney disease are uh, people who are diabetic, but their blood sugar is not controlled. Um, or, you know, if you're a diabetic and your blood pressure is not controlled, you're at particular risk. Also, the longer that you've had diabetes, the higher your risk goes. But there are other factors too. Diabetics who smoke, diabetics who don't keep a healthy weight. If you're not exercising and you're diabetic, you don't have a healthy diet. Maybe you have a family history of kidney disease and you're a diabetic. Um, uh, you're not active. You, you eat too much salt. All of those things can increase your risk as a diabetic of getting diabetic kidney disease. As I said before, most people will not have symptoms. And for many people, the only way they would know that they have diabetic kidney disease is to get it checked, having blood tests checked, having urine checked, and things like that. Um, so you've got to see your doctor regularly. Things that you can do to prevent diabetic kidney disease, to prevent your kidneys from having problems, especially if you're a diabetic, are making sure that your blood sugars are good. This is one of the reasons why we like to keep blood sugars normal if you're a diabetic. It doesn't just count for the blood sugar, it actually counts for other organs in your bodies, your kidneys included. Uh, make sure that your blood pressure is a good blood pressure because a blood pressure that's too high can negatively affect the kidneys as well. Make sure you're taking the medications that your doctor has prescribed. Make sure that you're leading a healthy lifestyle. What is that? That means eating a healthy diet, a low salt diet, making sure that you're eating a low carb diet, you're exercising, all of that good stuff. And remember that there are many things that you can do to prevent uh, diabetic kidney disease and prevent it from getting worse should you have it. Work with your doctor, find out what your numbers are, and find out what you need to do. As I always say, um, there's hope. So let me know in the comments. Is this topic familiar to you? Are you a diabetic? Do you have diabetic kidney disease? Do you see a kidney specialist? Remember, you want to run all of this information by your doctor to find out what's right for you. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. I do daily videos. Please subscribe to my channel, click the little bell for updates, and please go to drjencoddle.com to sign up for my free health newsletter and to check out uh, my new offering called Dr. Jen's Daily Health Tips.